Here comes the smart car, blow it off the road. Don't breathe on it, it might tip over. We're gonna follow it. So what I find it kind of about a little bit funny about these smart cars is, um, look at how big they are. First of all, they look like a clown car. Seriously, clowns drive them. Only clowns drive them. <laughs> I feel like, like a gust of wind would just blow them over, you know, and just like, you literally could go up to it and just blow on it, and it would blow over. <laughs> how funny would that be? Like, don't, yeah, yeah, care. like you bring it to like somebody, you know, to somebody's house and stuff like that, and they're, and then you're like, careful, don't, don't breathe on it. Yeah, don't breathe on it. Well, why is that? Well, because it could tip over. It could just blow over, you know, it just, it's like as light as a piece of paper, so it like, yeah, just don't sneeze on it neither. Just don't sneeze. That'd, that'd be bad. And then we gotta tip it back over again. I mean, I understand they're probably just as, um, you know, just as uh, safe as like a, uh, you know, a motorcycle. Except you're in a box. You're in a metal box. I still think, like, I've seen videos and they hold up pretty well, but like, good God, if you get hit, like, I've seen these things on videos. And like I said, they're just like, they're, they're like tin boxes. That's, that's what they are. I mean, they're, they're, they're metal cage boxes. Like you get hit and then like you know you're you're bouncing all over the road and then like you better just pray to God that uh Oh yeah Just pray to God that you survive. You know I have the five point harness on and uh yeehaw God you would never you would never pay me enough to actually buy one. The only reason why I would ever get one is if A, somebody gave me one and it didn't have an engine in it and they gave me a Hayabusa motor. That I, then I would drive it. Then, then I would drive it. Because that's like, that's like a go-kart on steroids. Just can't put it any better than that. I think that'd be super, super fun. I mean, there is YouTube videos out there. Well, like when those smart cars first, first came out, that's what somebody did. They took a uh, smart car, and uh, I believe they gutted it out, like everything, like interior and everything. They made it as light as they could, and they slammed like a big, I don't know if it was like a big Hayabusa motor in it or what, but it was a, um, it was a pretty good sized motor in there. And oh my gosh, was that thing just like phenomenally, just unbelievably sweet. <laughs> like I, that I would pay to drive. Cause you're like cruising down the interstate and you're like, oh look at that, that smart car, that's so funny looking. And all of a sudden you just gun it. And then, you know, before you know it, you're all out down the highway, you know. And, and then all of a sudden you're like, what, what was it? It just took off. It's not here anymore, it just blew up. I did, that'd be totally crazy. But, so I, when they first came out, I'm like, oh, that'd be kind of cool to have, you know, just like a really small car, you know, it'd be just like having a motorcycle, but in a car and you'd be able to drive it whenever you want. So I looked them up and uh, first of all, they were really stupidly expensive. I think they were like $20,000. This was back when I looked, you know, this was quite a few years ago when they first came out. So I don't know what they are now. I know I don't really care because I'll never get one, but back in the day, you know, a couple years ago when they first came out, they were $20,000, that was the base model, and the gas mileage, because they pouted about the gas mileage being so anonymously well, the thing doesn't get no more better than, uh, at that time, I had a Saturn SC2, and that was getting about 24, 26 miles a gallon, close, close to 30, and that got, that, it got no better gas mileage than my Saturn at that time. Like I said, now I don't know if they got any better or anything like that, Hey, get out of the road, deer! We think this is! Jesus! Deer's flying everywhere! Crossing the road, doesn't even paying attention! Teenage drivers, people trying to pull out money! No, it's deer! Anyways, back to what I was saying. Yeah, it didn't, it, like, the thing didn't even get any more better gas mileage than, uh, my blinker was off, buddy! Why do you keep indicating? Anyways, I keep getting distracted. Dang it. Oh, this person doesn't even know where they're going, that's why. Okay, okay, yeah, I mean, there's some point, there you go, there you go, there you go. Anyways, better gas mileage. Didn't get any better gas mileage in my Saturn. So it's just like, it was just like totally stupid. 
Like, so I want a really expensive car that doesn't get any better gas mileage than my four-seater coupe. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> Whatever. So, you know, that's just my two, uh, that's just my two cents and uh, the smart car, you know? This guy here. People. It's dear people don't know what they're doing today. Dumbasses. And then they get the big 5-0. What the heck, man? What the heck? That's just my two cents on that. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, thanks for leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. And like always, I will see you guys on the next vlog. I'm gonna follow this guy from Texas. Does anybody guy know this guy know this guy from Texas? DXZ5197. D is that your neighbor? He's in a Jeep. Black Jeep. Anybody know him? I will catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.